At the company where Maria just joined the occupational health team, workers must wear respirators when handing chemical A, which is used in their production process. After being told about chemical B from a vendor, operations wonders if substituting chemical A with chemical B would allow the workers to work without respirators. Chemical B has GHS hazard statements, but it doesn't have an OEL, so the operations contact asks Maria for the acceptable level of exposure for chemical B without an OEL. Maria turns to the NIOSH e-tool. The NIOSH e-tool streamlines the occupational exposure branding process by allowing users to apply toxicology information for a given chemical to generate an occupational exposure band, or OEB, through an automated Tier 1 process when there's no OEL but GHSH codes are available and provides resources for a simplified manual Tier 2 process for better screening and range determination. The e-tool provided a mechanism for Berea to identify a baseline estimate of the range the OEL may fall within of concentrations expected to be protective of worker health to better support their substitution decision. It gives Maria a structured, repeatable, guided approach to conduct OEB derivations without needing to be a tox or EFI expert. And using the e-tool has helped her become familiar with GHS has codes and the differences among the resources. It helps her employees be more proactive so they can take their occupational health program to the next level using the e-tool to generate OEBs in-house with a documented repeatable process. An OEB, along with an evaluation of chemical exposure potential, can help you develop a risk management strategy that better protects your workforce and allows them to make better decisions faster. Go to AIHA.org slash OEB today to learn more and discover how the NIOSH eTool can help you.